Hey, this is TJ. How you doing? Today, we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, today, I have my Sequential Profit X. Actually, it's the XL version. And I'm having a little bit of a problem with it. Uh, I've had a problem where the control knob for the filter, it just doesn't work anymore. Unless I go into the globals and do a reset. Then all of a sudden it works. But after a little bit of time, it stops working again. Now, the filter still works. It works with uh, the rest of the synth and so forth. But unfortunately, the actual control knob is having some kind of issue. So I've been in touch with the good folks at Sequential. Thank you very much, Brian. And they've been very, very helpful. Gone through a number of suggestions to try to fix it. Up until now, none of them have worked properly. So the latest suggestion is to open up the synth and check all the connections. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to open it up, take a look inside, see what we see. Hopefully it fixes it. And I don't necessarily have to do anything else with it. At least anything else but play it. So let's get started. All right, so first let me show you what's going on here. I have a basic uh, initialized program here. And if we take a look at the cutoff knob, all right, if I play a note, turn the cutoff knob, nothing happens. Watch the screen here. Nothing happens. So I'm going to go into the globals. All right, and I'm going to go down to the reset. Yep, there it is. If I hit the reset, okay, and then try the filter again. Now all of a sudden it works. Look at the screen. Now, if I leave it after a period of time, it'll just go back to being broken again. So we got to open it up. Okay, so I got the synth uh, flipped over. And the first thing that I got to do is I got to take both wood ends off. Okay, but before I do that, I already noticed there is a problem. This screw is missing. This is the uh, screw and this screw that hold in the two wheels, the mod wheel as well as the pitch wheel together. And this is the first of the two screws that I'm supposed to be taking off, so I immediately notice that's not there. Maybe that's the source of the problem. We'll find out. Let's take off the ends. Got the one off. Beautiful dark color. There's the other. Okay, so next I'm supposed to take out these two screws here. Now this one is missing. So maybe that's the problem. I probably would think not, but we'll see. Uh, yep. And now we got to flip it back over. All right, so there's these two screws here. One, two, on this side of the sink. And on the other side, There are three screws. One, two, three. So we gotta get this off. Okay, so we should be able to open up the top panel here. Let's see. Let's get a good look inside. It's a note of the beautiful key work on here. These are, these are guitar keys. Love the action on here. Let's see. All right, those ribbons appear to be intact. As well as the main ribbon. The two Panel connections, those ribbons. And there's the uh, hard drive. Okay. All right, so the next thing 
that I need to do as suggested by Sequential is this card here. It's the PCIe extension card. You need to remove this bracket that's holding it in, take the card out, and reseat it. So let's try that. I have to slowly pry out the card. There's two sockets on each side that bridges both uh, boards here. Look at that. DSI 10142R Rev A. Okay, so the next thing we suggest that I do is to take off all these uh, ribbon cables and reseat them. Hopefully that fixes it. So let's start over here. This is for the controllers. The first one is the pitch. That's one. Put it back in. Go through all of them. The mod. These are the two sliders. Down here is the main connection to the board. Okay, this is the connection to the keyboard. All right, we're working our way through. This is the main connection from the main board to the panel. Take these off here. Right back in. All right, take it on the other end. Seat it back in nice and tight. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with these ones. They look like they're really ain't tight anyway. All right, so this is the uh, main board here with all the Cool chips inside. Take a closer look at that. So those are all the voice chips and filters. Very cool. One day when I grow up, I want to be an engineer like these guys. I build this stuff. Whenever I grow up. All right, so we're going to make these... Uh, Hold these connections here, ribbons from the keyboard. I did notice there's one missing here. This looks like where they would normally stack another voice board. Maybe one day they can come out with an expander. That would be cool. Double the voices, double the money, I'm sure. So this is XL76, so that's the connection for the larger one. And you'll see here there's also a connection for the X61. So this, I guess, is the 61 keyboard version, and this is the 76 keyboard version. So we'll plug that one back into the right one. All right, well, that's all the stuff from the voice board. This is all the memory. Or a couple here. Let's try and make sure. They all look like they're very well seated, though. But at least I can say I did as much as I could. That one doesn't want to come back. And back in again. Here it snap. Now the other side of this is on the board, so I'm going to try that. Keep receiving them all. So I know I did a good job. So let's put this back in. Put the bracket back on. And 
Close it up. We've done all we can here. All right, so I just noticed the missing screw. Let's see here. The missing screw that I said was coming from this side here. It actually just locks onto the top here to hold it down. So I guess that doesn't make much difference. Let's close it up. Alright, let's uh, get it back on the stand and pray for good news. Alright, so I got the Prophet X all buttoned up. Let's give it a shot. Wish for good things. Alright, so there's the cutoff knob. Let's try it out. Alright. That is the sound of glory right there. Let's take a look at the screen. I am a happy man. <laughs> yes, sir. Very, very happy. Do you hope it holds up? I got a good feeling it will, at least after all that work. Hey, thanks so much for watching the video. Uh, if you like it, share, subscribe to the channel. Check out TJOnTheRoad.com for more. I very much appreciate your support. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.